Hey guys, so today we're looking at the massive stock gains with Kensington Capital Acquisition Corporation, or KCAC stock, that we saw in the market today. We'll be getting into why it went up so high today and what the future might look. First, here are the numbers. We've got a rise of $5.20 per share of 36.36%. KCAC currently trades at $19.50 per share. 52-week low is 9.74. 52-week high is 25.75. Market cap is around 500 million. Volume today is 7.4 million. Also, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So first off, for a really quick recap, if you remember, this deal was announced in early September with a valuation of around three and a third billion, and it was expected to close by Q4 of 2020. The stock price took a huge run after the deal was announced, and it seemed like this wasn't just a hyped up company like Nikola, but a company with some serious potential considering it's backed by prominent names like Bill Gates and Volkswagen. And as you can see in the chart here, the stock more than doubled in its first few days of trading. There was a crazy amount of buying in a short amount of time. But after this initial jump, the stock sold off a little, but it didn't stop and it just kept going down and down and down. And there's several reasons for that, including less confidence in post-merger jumps, like seeing Hylion and Velodyne and Multiplan all going down post-merger. And the second reason has been some sell-off in the markets, particularly in October. And you can see how hard it got hit then. Finally, one of the most important reasons, I think, is that people are understanding QuantumScape is still a long way off from developing solid-state batteries and generating revenues. Rough estimates say it could be five to seven years before sales are generated. So this will be a really long-term investment and condition, of course, that QuantumScape makes it that long. That said, QuantumScape has some pretty robust financial supporters, so that is definitely reassuring. So today the stock was looking similar to its first few days of trading after the merger was announced, up more than a third of its value today. This was pretty much due to the merger vote being announced for November 25th, which is in under two weeks. So the timetable has actually been pretty quick with this company, a little more than two and a half months after the deal was announced. But what's going to be interesting is seeing where the stock settles after the deal closes and it, when it is trading under the symbol QS. Considering that the company is in such early stages, it seems like its stock price would not merit fluctuating unless we got some news about their development or something along those lines. Yet even a company like Nikola that is so early in its development was trading out of control for its actual value because there was so much unwarranted speculation. That was one of the first EV plays other than Tesla available, so I doubt we will see a repeat of something that extreme. I mean, the stock was up over 900% in a matter of weeks. For those of you who might be new to the company, QuantumScape was founded in 2010 and is based in California. It also has some big investors like Bill Gates and Volkswagen, among others, like Continental. They are currently developing solid-state batteries intended for electric vehicles, which, if can be made, have huge advantages over our current lithium-ion battery. The batteries have a solid electrolyte compared to lithium-ion batteries, which have a liquid electrolyte. This essentially allows for much greater energy density as well as other advantages. So basically, we get a battery that can be much lighter since it has more energy per unit of mass. The battery could also charge most of the way, around 80% of the way in 15 minutes, and travel 90% further than current EVs can with lithium-ion batteries. The charge speed is one of the biggest things I've been keeping up with because when you're on a road trip and you just want to stop and fuel up quickly, most people are used to 3-5 to five minutes to stop and fill up with gasoline but i think anything over 15 minutes for a full quote unquote tank for ev vehicles would be frustrating i hope that we can get a full charge to below 10 minutes that with that being said so overall the two biggest points to draw on from this are that number one the company has a lot of potential to be a disruptor in battery technology there aren't too many companies developing solid state batteries and they've been endorsed by someone the likes of Bill Gates, so definitely has potential here. Number two is that the time frame is much larger than most people realize. 2025 is expected to be the earliest date QuantumScape would start putting solid-state batteries in Volkswagen's cars. So conservatively, it could be maybe two, three, four years after that. So buying in the company today as an investor really means you want to hold at least 10 years if you believe it would really become a big company. So definitely keep that in mind. 
if you really do believe in this company, you're probably going to have this stock in your portfolio for quite some time. And we'll definitely be keeping up with updates as that goes along. But that's all I got for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe and like the video. And I hope to catch you next time.